What is going on, guys? <laughs> we are uh, on the dock here. Mr. Doug, give a wave to the camera. Say, hey, Mr. Doug. <laughs> Mr. Doug, he's down here fishing with him in Barnum Town, North Carolina, and we're going to catch us. Oh, man, that would make a great picture. Mr. Doug wanted to know if he pulled a fish in, would that make a great picture? Hey, guys, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment on the channel. And as soon as we start hooking these black drum again, I will bring y'all back on. Thanks for watching. Outdoors with Tim. All right. We got one. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, I got a spot tail. Look at there, fellas. Yeah. That's the first one, and Mr. Doug's done caught like seven or eight. He is kicking my tail. I know, right? We can't even keep this one. He's not even legal. Yeah, but uh, let me see if I can hold him. So they get kind of slimy, they're hard to hold. But uh, it's got that beautiful spot on him. But I believe it's going to pick up. Y'all stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching Outdoors with Tim. Woohoo! I'm going to show y'all in just a minute how Mr. Doug does it. He gets it done. <laughs> Getting a bite, guys. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Let him take it. He's a black drummer biting today. I believe the tide is uh, still kind of going out, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We got one now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, little old rascal. And he got off. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned, it's gonna get good. All right, I got a good one. I got another good one. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's not quite fat enough, but he sure was nice, guys. Hey, listen, if I don't get much video of me catching fish, you might see Mr. Doug on here in a few minutes. He knows how to catch them. He's a local and he's been coming here for a long time. But that's it, black drum, man, on the hook. And I just got another good hit on my other rod. You can't even hardly keep two rods in the water over here today. That was biting like this yesterday, though. Well, that's it, guys. Big old pretty black drum. Now, the legal size limit's what, 14 inches, Mr. Dunn? 14 inches on these things, or is it 10 inches? Oh, 14 inches, it's 14 inches. And I think you can have 10 a day. But we'll throw him back and let him grow up. Guys, I really appreciate y'all watching the channel. Remember to give it a thumbs up. Push that bell icon so that you get a notification every time I post a video. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to see the next video that I got coming up. I really appreciate everybody's comments. I appreciate the likes. And I appreciate the subscribers. I love you all. Y'all stay tuned. Let me see how you catch it. Now this, this is the rig. You make this yourself. Yeah. Mr. Doug makes this rig. I don't know if y'all can see that, guys. But he makes this. Mr. Doug, how long you been fishing? Uh, longer than you got toes. Longer than I got toes. Okay, yeah. I'm 41. So he's been fishing a long, long time. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Sure now I know what you meant, how don't don't make your leaders, your see, hook so long. See what you do? Yeah. You do like that? Yes, sir. All right, and then what you do, I'll show you how to put one on the other hook. Okay. Y'all stay tuned. He's going to show us how to catch these fish. Well, but they don't let you do it now. Yeah. So flounder's not in right now, is that what you're saying? Yeah, but it's $2,500 if you catch one. Oh, and keep it. Yeah. yeah, I got you. You know, we don't have $2,500 to spend for an out-of-season flounder here in, in uh, North Carolina. But uh, look forward to seeing you catch one of them fish. Well, now, these things are biting pretty quick now. I mean, they were just like hammering us a few minutes ago. Yeah, they... <laughs> they have their moments, that's for sure. Yeah, they do. <laughs> these things will bite so you can't keep your rod in. And then you can only fish with one rod. <laughs> I love it too. Yeah.
They can't never, never catch me too busy to use. I like your little setup. It's simple. It's a five-gallon bucket, a piece of wood there to cut your bait. Yeah. I mean, you, you you see these guys? They come down with the dock, come down the dock, and they got all this stuff with them: fish cart, bait bucket, cast net. You know, yeah. and this is just it. Simple, man. I mean, you you don't need a lot. And you cut that bait in just little quarters, and yeah. that and that's he he doesn't use a lot of bait. No, these are. <laughs> <laughs> you get four or five, six baits out of one. Out of one shrimp, yeah. If you cut the shrimp up enough, you can. And sometimes these fish here <laughs> won't bite a big bait. They sure won't. Yeah, they, they're like a, just a small piece. It's like they're just schooling around, you know, just, yeah. they're swimming back and forth or something. Uh oh, uh oh, we got some action. Get him. Nope, that was. One of the most silver. One of the most silver. One of the most silver guys. Now, did they ever get any size to them? Well, probably a pound. <laughs> yeah. Well, y'all stay tuned. As soon as we get a fish on, we're going to bring you back up. And just like that, Mr. Doug had just put the rod out. Yeah. And, and he done got him one. What you got? A little. Yeah. What do you call them now, Mr. Doug? A little silver. A little silver. Now, is that like a croaker or no, a whiting? Or? Yeah, like a whiting. Okay, so we can call, back where I'm from in Beaufort, we call something like that Sailor's Choice. We say, what's for dinner? And it says Sailor's Choice. Yeah. So like, what's that mean? It says, whatever you can catch. So, anyway, well, that's one on the hook. Let's see if we can't do it again. Stay tuned, guys. The white sides are coming out from under that. There he is. Did you get him? Boat. Uh -oh. No, you missed him. That was fast. <laughs> oh yeah, I got him. Oh, got another one. What'd I get there? Another black drum. <laughs> oh yeah. Well guys, we know where the fish are, that's for sure. <laughs> even Mr. Doug does. He even told me a few things. He even loaned me the hook to catch this fish. Told me I was using the wrong kind of hook, so I'm starting to hook them now. Boy, I tell you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how many I'm up to. I think that's like number four already. But Mr. Doug's, what did you say you caught? 15. He just caught another one, guys. But uh, still a little piece of shrimp on there. So I'm going to put it back out there and see if we can't get on a few more. These drum now, Mr. Doug says that these black drum running here the excess is close to a hundred pounds. Now I looked on some YouTube videos earlier, and there's some big ones that run this river right here, this creek. I call it the creek, the channel, but they're in here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they just kind of let it get on the bottom there, wait on them to bite. Well, anyways, guys. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my time with Mr. Doug fishing. I appreciate y'all watching Outdoors with Tim. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that uh, bell icon so you get a notification. And uh, we're just fishing with some shrimp, fishing on the bottom. Thanks for watching Outdoors with Tim, guys. God bless y'all. Happy New Year's. Merry Christmas, if I ain't already told you. And we'll talk to you soon. Well, we're still here catching them. Yeah, that's right. As long as you keep catching them. That's right. Yes, ma'am. You have a good one, okay? I met some really nice people out here at the docks today. Yeah, Mr. Doug done doubled up, caught two in one time. I mean, they was on. He had a double hook rig. He just reeled them in and just throwed them back. When he threw them back, I think I caught his. No, I don't really know. But they're plentiful here, that's for sure. And we are catching the black drum. And uh, hopefully it'll pick up. But that right there, that's some meat on that fish. But we can't keep them because they're not legal. But anyway, I'm having a blast here in Holden Beach, North Carolina. Thanks for watching, guys.